is your house. Your amen. I see it inside your past. Amen. I see it inside your bank account. I F F yes. A yes. I. Yes. Those are the first. You have signed in your way that I am not the tail. bless you and welcome back to breakthrough live with bishop dj comfort and of course i'm not alone i do have a co-pilot dr bishop prophet s sadiki we are dealing with a crucial subject in the kingdom of god and we are not just talking this of course is not a talk show this is a liberation hour after we have addressed the problem we deal with the solution in line with the word of god we are not motivational speakers. No. We are not speakers of parliament. We are men of God. Mm -hmm. So everything we share and everything we say is nothing else but the written word of God. Mm -hmm. We don't represent ourselves, but we are on delegation, delegated by the kingdom of heaven. So ladies and gentlemen, in simple language, we are ambassadors, but we are ambassadors of the kingdom of God. So I have with me my brother from another mother. Amen. Man of God, yes, sir. we are on a tough subject, if I use the word tough. That's right. A subject that affects millions and billions of people. That's right. People, they wake up in the morning, they plan. Mm -hmm. January comes in, mm -hmm. they plan. Mm -hmm. But a year ends, mm -hmm. none of those plans have come to pass. That's right. Because of one simple spirit, mm -hmm. a spirit called destiny manipulator that's right a spirit that manipulates destiny that's right of course we went into the book of exodus and we looked at verse number seven mm. how pharaoh that's right enforced the manipulation that's right through the water mm -hmm. a spirit that resides in the river nile that's right so destiny manipulation spirit Which how can god's spirit? people mm -hmm. be liberated from that spirit number one mm. the foundation is the word of God. Yes, sir. Which is the first thing that God gave to Moses, mm. gave to Joshua, when Moses was going to liberate the people of God, uh -huh. and when Joshua was going to take over. Yes. The word of God will give you a revelation mm. of liberation in life. Mm. Number two, it will come through the spirit of a prophet, mm. through the laying of hands, yes. which is impartation. Yes. We see David running away from the presence of Saul when he was looking for him to kill him, hunting him to death. Mm, mm, the mm. Bible says he ran away to Ramah yeah. where someone was having the school of prophecy. Mm. Number three is to run to the house of God. Mm. We see a man whom Benaiah was coming after. The Bible says when he was after him, mm. Benaiah found him embracing the altar of God. Oh, Jesus. And he said, if you want to kill me, Kill me right in the presence of God. I rather so die the man, in the presence of God. I rather die in the presence of God. I'm mm. not going to die anywhere else. Job said, I'm not going to die anywhere else, but I rather die in the presence of God. Yeah. And remember, when Solomon wanted to kill Job, mm. he wanted to kill him for the sins that he committed to his father, not to him. Yeah, yeah. These were the things that he did to his father David mm. when he was still alive. He was paying. He had to pay. For the sin. Yeah. He did to, to, David. to David, not to Solomon. Yes. So it so was that, that's that's a generational case. But I love what he did. Yes. Even when it's a generational case that was pursuing him. Yes. He had an audacity and the decency mm. of running mm. into the house of God, mm. where he knew it is a place of refuge. Mm. He'll be protected. Although he said, "If you want to kill me, 
mm -hmm. kill me in the presence of God. All right. The men knew that if they kill him there, they'll kill the flesh. Yes. But the spirit was still live. <laughs> so the man was ready to That's die in the heavy. presence of God. That's right. That's heavy. The man was ready to die in the presence of God. What does it benefit a man if he gains the whole world and That's loses right. his own soul? That's right. So Joab said, you can successfully kill my flesh. That's right. But my spirit, you cannot. You cannot. Wow, wow, wow. You cannot. So the Lord has specially mandated me to go on all out attack tomorrow mm -hmm. against this spirit of destiny manipulation. That's right. What are you picking in the spirit and what do you think God's people should expect tomorrow? Tomorrow they must come with expectation that their problems are going to be solved. Yeah. When God wanted to liberate the people of Israel, mm -hmm. he chose Moses. True. And he sent to him. Hey. He could have liberated them himself. Yeah. But you must always bear in mind and know if God is going to do something in a man's life, mm. he will always send a man. Because if he come by himself, mm. you may not live to see another day. <laughs> we are finished. No, you are finished. If no, he come by himself, you're going No home. man can say, I have seen the face of God. Yeah. You'll be alive tomorrow. Yeah. God had to hide himself even to Moses. He hide his face from mm. Moses. And he said, look at my back. Look at my back. Just my back. Just my back. And the bag was so heavy with the presence. That's right. That when Moses was coming down the mountain. That's right. His face. <laughs> the people of Israel even said, who is this God that you talk to that we can't talk to? Yeah. And God said, it's fine. Moses here's the instruction. Uh. Tell them at noonday, I'm going I'm to be coming to visit them. Mm. The Bible says, when God appeared, none of them was there to face the face of God. Yeah. They all ran away and they said, Moses, you deal with God, we deal with you. So there's <laughs> always a man whom God will send yeah. to deal with his people. <laughs> so you are a prophet yes, sir. sent to the people of God. Yes. First Chronicles chapter 20, verse number 20. Believe in the Lord your God, thou shalt be established. Mm -hmm. Believe also in his prophets, then thou shalt prosper. The word prosperity, it is, does not mean, oh, you're going to prosper only maybe financially. Not just materially. But in, not materially. Mm. But in every area of your life, it covers every area sure. of your life. Even breaking the curses, eh. reversing the curses, eh. breaking the spirit of destiny manipulation. It's an all-inclusive It word. is all-inclusive. God still uses his prophet. Eh. Whatever you are believing God for, that's right. When God says you will prosper, mm -hmm. it means you will prosper in every area. That's right. That you open your spirit in expectation, in anticipation. That's right. To God. When they come, Bishop, you give them the word. Yes, sir. To yes. The word cannot operate without praying. No. Because prayer it is the one that energizes and gives you power. Yes. Gives you spiritual eyes. So that gives ah. you the eyes of an eagle. Yes. So that you can see just like God wants you to see. In the realm of the spirit. And once prayer and the word is involved, ah. there's going to be a manifestation of power because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So when they come to your service, yes. they must just come ready to be baptized or to be searched out to be brought out one by one or by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Sure. It's going to be heavy tomorrow. It's going to be heavy. But sure. above all, yes, right. above, above all, yes. destinies are going to be unlocked. That's right. A spirit that has been manipulating destinies, mm -hmm. that spirit is going to be broken. That's right. Mm. That's Talk right. to me, Bishop. That is what we are assigned for. Yes, sir. We are not assigned to be entertainers in the church. Oh, no. We are assigned to liberate the people. We are of men God. of the Holy Ghost. We are men of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so we do things as we are instructed by, yes, the, Holy, by the Holy Spirit. Well, I, 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 I want to take a call, Bishop. Can I do that? You can take it, Bishop. We have a call on the line. All right. Let's see. There we go. God bless you. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Mama? God bless you. We greet you in the name of Jesus. You are through and you live on Breakthrough TV. Pastor. What is your name and where are you calling from? I Uh huh. I can hear you very well, Itumeti. Where are you calling from? From Soshangube Expression Parish. Thank you very much. Talk to us. We are listening. Talk to us. I have a problem. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, 
You are a married woman. Mm -hmm. Two years. Two years. And in these two years, two years. how so for money ban? All right. Do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I believe, Marie. Then you have received your miracle. We're going to agree with God. Mm. And that is part of what we are teaching. Mm. Destiny manipulating spirit. God believe, has Marie. already blessed you with a family. But there is a spirit that is refusing you to be a mother. But that spirit, we are breaking it. And I tell you what, you'll hold your Samuel. Just like Hannah, you'll hold your children. Is the will of God. It is. Yes. Man of God. Amen. Amen. We, are we are believing God for your miracle, okay? Mm. And God is not going to disappoint you. Can you be able to come to Mary? Hello? Yes, I can. Can you be able to yes, come to Mary in the service? Hello? Hello? Yes, I can. So come and meet the man of God tomorrow. As your destiny is about to change. Okay? Amen. So God bless you. Tomorrow we're going to liberate you and never, never again will you be a victim of this kind of a spirit. That's Amen. Right. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. God bless you and good night. Amen. A family, when you're calling us and once we pick you, you are live on air, please make sure that you reduce you close you turn off the volume of your tv please make sure you close the volume of your tv so that we can be able to hear you and talk with you god bless you you are live on air hello Okay, I Monica. I'm going to the Hey. Hey, I'm going to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i Osi Monica Warutwa. Hello. Warutwa Osi Monica, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, Osi Monica, it's not a problem with Kalwala. Walwala. Eh, una lena kweka e una le botatabu. How long? Ene kila ka do se uspa chala van chesta la ke val chi. Yo no voy a decir que usted la que ha tenido la que con esta maya que son ya vale la monto. Se compara de cartel. On a le problème eu. August. August year 2014. August this year. August this year. Eh. Yeah. It shall come to pass. Go and Okay, Utsana ke reke mo muruti endi mabena mo tembisa. God is going to give you your miracle. You are in the right place and we're going to pray for you and you're going to be free. I get it me. God bless you. Thank you very much for calling Breakthrough TV. Bishop, incurable terminal diseases is one of the issues terrible among a lot of people but it's so far. That's right. So, a spirit that manipulates their healing, their miracle, right. their deliverance. It comes, it, it comes to steal their health.
Yeah. Now, Bishop, it's not enough to know that uh, a person is sick. Mm -hmm. First thing we need to know what causes that kind of sickness. Ah, so true. most of the time people they know that they are sick. Yes. And if you don't know what is the cause of the problem, yeah, it may not may not be easy for you to come out of the same predicament or the kind of problem that you are in. Yeah. It was Albert Einstein who once said, "You cannot mm. solve mm. the problems that you cause in life with a solution of the same level." Mm. You need a level of higher grace mm. to be able to solve that kind of problem. Mm. First Peter, First Peter chapter five, verse number eight, it says, uh -huh. "Be sober and be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, mm. is roaring like a lion, walketh about seeking whom to devour." So he's all out seeking for somebody to devour. Mm. Everywhere, any, anywhere, every, every, everywhere, mm. we can have thousands of people. Yes. If we've got 5,000 people, maybe in one place. Yes. And each and every one of them, there's a spirit that is pursuing them. Yeah. We've got 5,000 demons that we've got to deal with in one day. Yeah, yeah. One day. Because That's the Bible the, that, is very clear. That is not a small number. It's not a small number. No. So the Bible is very clear. The devil is seeking for whom to devour. Yeah. It can be to inflict the person uh -huh. with sickness. Yeah. Or to destroy a person's career, uh. to destroy a man's dream or vision. So mm. he can come in many ways, but the fact remains, he is all out roaring like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. Oh. So the Bible says we need to be sober. Yeah. We need to be vigilant. The word vigilant, mm. it means you need to watch out. Yeah. You need to stay prepared yeah. that there's a devil that is running around mm. and it's not coming to entertain you. No, no, no. no. But it's coming to destroy. <laughs> so it's heavy. It's heavy. The so, war is intense. Some of them, he attacks them while they're in hot pursuit of their careers academically. Mm. A person could go to university when they uh, graduate or obtain their degrees, mm. yeah. you just hear that the person has be suddenly become mad. Before he can even go and begin to work and get the first salary. Yeah. The person went to university, got degree, got master's, but they are now mad. Oh. All they do, they run around the street. Mm. So what the devil does, mm. he renders them to be useless. Yeah. Those are his tricks. He manipulates their destiny by rendering them to become useless in life. But tomorrow we are anointed to solve Tomorrow this. they got to come, even if they bring mad people. Uh, something's living. People who have been mad for a very long time, staying mm. on the street, not eating. People who are now been regarded to be mentally retarded. Yeah. God will do something that will shock even the people who bring them. Amen. Madam, let's take a call. Let's take a call. All right. God bless you and hello. Hello. Mama, you are live on Breakthrough TV. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, madam. Good evening. If we can ask for your name and where you're calling from, please. I'm Brittany. I'm calling from the Northern Cape. Thank you very much. Talk to us. Destiny manipulation. Uh, prophet. Mm. Prophet, uh, it was in last week. Mm -hmm. I had a dream about you. You had a dream uh, about me? I dreamed that your face is upon my face. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I dreamed I dream that your face is on my face. Mm. And you command something out of my, you command something out of me. Mm. And in the dream, I saw something come out of my nose and out of my head. And mm. uh, I had a, 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 a constant headache. Mm -hmm. But after the deliverance in the dream, uh, the pain is gone. Mm. I didn't even have that uh, pain in my head or the sinus problem. Mm -hmm. It is gone. So, oof. obviously, <laughs> this is very interesting. Mm. She picked a dream, and in that dream, the Lord showed her, I was ministering liberty. That's right. And things were coming out. That's right. Now. So, the, the Lord, without any shadow of doubt, 
wants to liberate her mm -hmm. using this anointing. That's right. It takes mm. us back to where we said, mm. if God appears to a person, yes. a person will not live to see another day. Yeah. Now, a person who doesn't have a man of God in his life, mm. Mm. he hasn't seen God. Yeah. For a person to say, I have seen God, God, whenever he comes, will come in the form of your man of God. Mm. When God was visiting Samuel, mm. he could have appeared as God. Yeah. But the Bible says he was imitating the voice of Eli. He came as Eli. He came as Eli. Mm. When someone had the voice, he ran to mm. Eli. Mm. And said, you call me. Yeah. Three times that I didn't call you. But the fourth time he remembered, mm. God is calling the young man. <laughs> because he has never had a personal encounter with God, although he was sleeping in the presence of so God. So this is what is happening to this This is what is happening. God. So God was liberating the woman. All she need now yes. is just to come and meet you personally. And that is coming to pass. That is coming to pass. Woman of God, are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. The, 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 the Holy Ghost has already gone ahead of you. And we, yeah. we sense that God is saying, this anointing upon my life is available yes. for your liberty. Yes. 